meteorologist Matt Holliner. 615 this morning showing you something that I don't often, but it helps tell the story for today. This is water vapor imagery. So we're looking at the upper levels of the atmosphere and how much moisture is around, how much humidity there is. And notice that there's not a lot of humidity in a lot of places. And this is one of the tools actually we use to help make our forecast. Because when you see a lot of dry air, that means there's not going to be a lot of clouds, there's not going to be a lot of rain. But where you see lots of moisture, there's a better chance of rain and a better chance of clouds. And so notice that we're in the in-between. There's a lot of moisture to our south that's associated with that cold front that is to our south still. And so there are going to be a lot of storms to our south. There's going to be a lot of clouds. But which winds out for us? I think the day the drier air is because our winds are going to be out of the north. So this drier air is going to be filtering in. So I think there's going to be less cloud cover as we go through the day. And the rain chance is still there this morning because we're still kind of close to the big moisture levels, but it's going to be going away. And in general, you're looking at the next seven days. This is not just today. This is looking at the next seven days. Things quieting down a little bit across the country, with the exception, I've got to mention the possibility of an area of low pressure dumping a lot of rain in places like North Carolina, Virginia, and maybe up into Maryland as well. So that's something we'll watch. But notice actually much of the state of Texas is going to stay dry. But notice the wettest place is going to be South Texas. Now, not super wet, though, but actually, we have a chance of rain every day except tomorrow, but the rain chances are small every day. They're only 10 and 20%. What is it? It's the sea breeze. June is probably our best sea breeze month. This is when we get those sea breeze shower storms. We have that right difference between the temperatures in the Gulf and the very warm temperatures inland where the sea breeze often sets up. And some days it's stronger than others. And so some days will be a 20% chance of rain. Most days probably only a 10% chance of rain. And this, though, I don't want you to take this to heart. The model is not going to tell you exactly how much rain every place is going to get. But notice the trend. There's going to be more activity near the coast where the sea breeze is most common and less out west. In fact, it is possible that out in Star County, there could be a few spots to stay completely dry for the next seven days. There's going to be more activity to the east, though, and so some will end up seeing over a half an inch of rain. Most are probably going to see less than that. Today is one of those 10% chances of rain only in the morning hours. Skies are going to become sunny this afternoon. Most of the day, mostly sunny, 93, not as humid as yesterday. We'll get breezy this afternoon. Gusts around 20 miles per hour. Look at tonight. Clear to mostly clear skies. A cool night. Lows around 67, a normal low. 75. It's going to be feeling great this evening and tonight. A and tomorrow uh, going to be a nice day again for this time of year. Mostly sunny in the morning, sunny skies in the afternoon, even lower humidity than today. Comfortable humidity tomorrow. So that 91 isn't going to feel that bad. No chance of rain for tomorrow. And check out your weekend forecast. Only 10% chance of rain for Saturday and Sunday on your first one five AccuWeather forecast. Still in the low 90s. And look at those temperatures to start Saturday and Sunday morning in the mid 60s. More news right after the break.